What's going on? You already know it's your boy, Little T. Ah, uh, back and full of fact, you already know how I'm fine, yeah, man. Hey, man, check it out, check it out, check it out. Man, man, man. We done lost a legend, man. We done lost a legend. That boy, Akira Toriyama, has passed, man. If you don't know Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball Z, man. That was, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That was my first, that was my first ever anime I ever watched. Like, Dragon Ball Z really got me into anime, like, like, I'm not gonna say got me into it. It introduced me to anime, yeah. It was Dragon Ball, Bone Dots, and then that's when I went down the line. You feel me? I was told One Punch Man and that type of shit. You feel me? But yeah, definitely Dragon Ball, Bone Dots. They really put me on to anime. But um, yeah, man, in honor of Akira Toriyama, we're gonna do the top 10 iconic Dragon Ball moments. And we're rock up to them, man. I wonder what they're gonna do now, bro. Um, with that, um, cause you, we, we seen what we got without Akira Toriyama. We got that fucking phony ass GT. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most memorable scenes and moments from the Dragon Ball franchise. Piccolo! Oh man, clothes came off of that bitch. Bro, I never understood this, bro, on this part right here. Why the fuck, man, Piccolo just grab him and, and fly away like these things can't fly? All this time he's standing there, he could have grabbed Gohan and did it. The passing of Dragon Ball creator Akira Toriyama has been a devastating blow to the anime, manga, and video game communities. For real. His impact on these mediums cannot be overstated, and without him, anime may not have the worldwide appeal it does to this day. Thanks. From Dragon Ball to Dragon Quest, Dr. Slump to Chrono Trigger, his works will live on in the hearts of fans for eternity. Thank you, Akira Toriyama. R.I.P. man. Number 10. Goku defeats King Piccolo. Oh yeah, this one came in, he hit. This one he hit with the dragon fist or the head boy. Arguably the strongest foe that Goku faces as a child is King Piccolo. The vile Namekian battles the young fighter as his previous opponent Tian Shenhan watches. <laughs> I have you now! However, after Goku proves surprisingly strong, Damn, he Piccolo the shit out of resorts Tien to taking Tien hostage. This allows him to break or injure nearly all of Goku's limbs. We say nearly because Goku's right arm remains unharmed. King Piccolo is confident in his victory, but Goku manages to propel himself using a Kamehameha to punch straight through his opponents. It's time for your terror to end! <laughs> Not only is this a brutal Came the and body. finish, but this moment also marks the birth of Goku's rival and Piccolo later ally, Junior. Piccolo Jr. Number 9, Father Son Kamehameha. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's legendary. Z. Do it now, Speaking go on! finishing moves, DBZ has its fair share of memorable ones too. Now you die! <laughs> In the finale of the Cell Saga, Gohan is engaged in a beam struggle against Cell. The green monstrosity is stronger than ever after his resurrection, and Gohan can only use one arm. However, with some coaching from his late papa, Goku, Gohan delivers a Kamehameha that overcomes Cell and vaporizes him for good. Let it out, Gohan! I put some force on that bitch. Anytime multiple characters do a Kamehameha is cool, but the fact that one of them is a ghost and it's done to defeat a big bad as bad as Cell ensured that fans would never forget it. Now you're dead! <laughs> it left us hungry for more. For Not real, man. I'm so event. mad that they killed Gohan character off, bro. Like, book. he was supposed to be the next up, man. Then, after this, this nigga went to school. Like, nigga, we don't want to see, we don't want to see him go to school. I mean, I know it's like, you feel me? That's real life, but bro, I'm not trying to see this nigga go to school and be the same. He could have went to school. All right, he could have went to school, but we didn't need the same man, bro. What the, the same man was so fucking stupid, bro. That's I the only thing I didn't like about Kurt on Young. That's the only thing Look, I didn't like he GT did. Everything else was black. great. But, we'll but that same man, oh, no, no, no. You had to do an ending. 
I have more crazy relatives than I'll ever know what to do with. And they're all heroes. In the future, after all the other Dragon Warriors or Z Fighters have passed on, we see Goku's granddaughter Pan at a tournament. She spots her grandfather in the crowd. And while she loses him, we follow Goku as flashbacks from throughout the Dragon Ball franchise play. Grandpa? Let me through, please! After seeing how far we've come, the narrator assures us that should the world need him again, Goku will return. The dub even has Goku signing off himself as he flies away on Nimbus, power pole in hand, the franchise has come full circle. While we did meet again, we couldn't hope for a more fitting ending than this one. Till we meet again, guys! <laughs> Number 7, The First Kamehameha, Dragon Ball. In the annals of anime attacks, the Kamehameha is among the most iconic, which is why its debut all the way back in Dragon Ball remains close to fans' hearts. Goku and company call on Master Roshi to put out a fire on Fire Mountain. Now watch this, it's the Master's Kamehameha way! While the old man appears doddering and incapable at first, Roshi soon bulks up and lets loose his famous beam attack, putting out the fire and destroying the mountain. Goku is quite impressed and decides to try it out for himself, managing it easily. And the rest is history. Number six, Trunks. Oh my his God, face. boy! With Trunks slice, Trunks was. Bahas, I said, oh my God! What is my favorite scene? You're about to find out what it's like to fight a real Super Saiyan, and I'm not talking about Goku. The introduction of hey, Trunks Frieza into the series shook. is among the most impactful and memorable in the show. Frieza has arrived on Earth, his dad in tow, and seemingly stronger with his cyborg modifications. But then Trunks shows up, mm -hmm. a mysterious youth with a sword. Not only that, but he's Super Saiyan as well. Excuse me, is this yours? <laughs> After tanking a massive attack from Frieza, Trunks tosses an overly dramatic shot at the Space Emperor, only to surprise him from hey, behind Frieza! with his sword. Hey, Frieza! Huh? Ah! Watching Trunks turn the franchise's biggest villain to this point into mincemeat instantly made an impression. Sling, 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 sling. Immediately label him as one of the coolest characters ever. Thanks. Number five, Vegeta's sacrifice, Dragon Ball Z. Vegeta is a character defined by his pride. After once again turning to evil in his attempt to surpass Goku, Vegeta finally or returns to his senses sell, during the out. battle with Majin Buu. He bids farewell to his son, Trunks, even knocking him out to prevent him from fighting. Even Piccolo telling Vegeta he'll go to hell isn't enough to deter him. You, on the other hand, have spent your life in pursuit of your own selfish desires. You've caused too much pain. When you die, you will not receive the same reward. Well, well, well. Oh, well. So be it. With one last blast, the Prince of All Saiyans makes one final atonement in death in his attempt to kill Boo. Trunks, Bulma, I do this for you. And yes, even, even you, you can cackle out. This may not be the end for Vegeta, but it does mark a major turning point for his character, at last becoming a proper hero. Even the narrator came back to pay respects. <laughs> And so, one of the Earth's greatest warriors has vanished in a blinding flash of light, having made the ultimate sacrifice for the sake of his loved ones. His name was, was Vegeta, Vegeta, a proud Saiyan Prince. Mm -hmm. Number four, Goku and Vegeta's beam clash. Dragon Come on, man, Ball that's Z. classic right there. There are beam struggles, and then there's this. This Vegeta is classic and right here, man. The first battle is loaded with iconic moments. But this is easily the one everybody thinks of first. 
Goku goes all out with Kaioken, which puts his body on the line, managing to overwhelm Vegeta. This shouldn't be happening. I don't understand. I am a super elite. Now he sealed his fate. This planet is history. I'll destroy everything, everything. Do you hear me, Kakarot? Insulted that a lowercase foe has injured him, Vegeta decides to blow up the planet with his Gallic gun. With no other option, Goku fires a Kamehameha to meet it. Gallic gun! Kamehameha! Ah! Ah! This was going to happen. I would have eaten more pizza and ice cream. Ah! ah iconic, bro. Come Goku on, man. Pushes his Kaioken even further to come out. Kaioken. In this Time's exchange, 20! at least. The image oh, of the two attacks meeting is burned into Dragon Ball fans' brains, like Vegeta's anger at Goku. Fake. The Kaioken! No! Goku! Time four! Time four, he didn't get the 10 yet. That was a super. He went to four. Man, Vegeta still wasn't down though. Number three, Gohan's Super Saiyan 2 transformation. Mm -hmm. Dragon Ball Z. Facts. New Facts. transformations. Boy, when he turned Super Saiyan 2, that's when that boy was on Demon Time. Big splash. Fuck the Cell Juniors. Gohan's up. battle against Cell looks dire as he's thrown against the cyborg Bugman with little preamble. And when Cell unleashes his brood of Cell Juniors against Gohan's friends, the young fighter can only watch. Please. Drop your restraints. Protect the life I loved. You have the strength. My scanners sensed it. Just let it go. An emotional speech from Android 16, hoping to inspire Gohan, takes a dark turn as Cell stomps on the cybernetic yeah, man's head, killing 16. Yeah. Turns out that was enough to push <laughs> Gohan over the edge. I won't watch this anymore! And that's when I start fucking with Gohan. With a haunting cry and plenty of tears, Gohan reaches Super Saiyan 2. With the crackle of lightning and the drying of tears, we know that the son has surpassed the father. For the moment, at least. Number 2. Ooh! Ultra Instinct. Dragon Ball Super. Okay, during the mint is right here. has plenty of hype moments, Bring! but the one that literally broke the internet was this one. Thanks, Seriously, boy. multiple streaming sites went down. Damn. Well, he's done it, hasn't he? I didn't know the streaming sites went down. This. Yes. During Goku's fight with Jiren, our hero is on the cusp of mastering Ultra Instinct, a technique that allows him to dodge attacks effortlessly. It's the whole attacking back part that Goku struggles with. But as Jiren aims to ring Goku out, the Saiyan fighter's power continues to rise. Game the mittens, watch he this. eventually starts his aura and hair taking on a divinely shimmering light. This is the true power. A master in all its instinct. majesty. As far as modern Dragon Ball goes, it doesn't get much more hype than this. Say. That's why we have to go back. This is autonomous. Ultra Instinct! What's number one, bro? The Spirit Bomb? Before we the Kid Boo Spirit sure Bomb? To subscribe to our channel and ring the it bell gotta be to the Kid Boo Spirit Bomb. What else is there left? Videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Yeah, you gotta be the Kid Boo. Number one, oh, no, no, no. The freezer is super yeah. Dragon yeah, yeah, Ball yeah, I'm, tri I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. I forgot all about the Goku Super Saiyan first transformation. This is one to introduce us to it. When it comes to anime transformations, Super Saiyan is arguably the most iconic of all, and the debut rocked the Dragon Ball fandom and is still making waves decades later. Goku and company believe they finally defeated Frieza. If you think My man, your got little to... friends can escape me, <laughs> you're sadly mistaken. Unfortunately, they're wrong. The evil tyrant reappears and kills Krillin. Frieza, stop! Go, this! go! Help me! Oh, no. The 
death of his best friend sends Goku into a rage so great that his power skyrockets. The weather changes and his hair turns golden. Freezer isn't dealing with the yeah, as it is, I caught it, bro. Anymore, and fans weren't dealing with the average Dragon Ball either. This is peak Dragon Ball. Thanks, thanks, What's thanks. I forgot Ball all about that. Akira Toriyama memory. Let us know in the comments below. I don't know how I forgot below. about the first ever Super Saiyan transformation, but hey, man, that's gonna do it for top ten iconic moments of Dragon Ball. Once again, man, one more time, rest in paradise to my man Akira Toriyama. Man, you brought hella joy and pleasure to 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 the to the world, man. And it's sad to see you go, bro. It's sad to see you go. Um, but yeah, man, you yeah, yeah, your yeah, your episode is still gonna live on. Your story is still gonna live on. I'm pretty sure they're gonna drop his last um his last creation because I heard they was working on something. So hopefully they do drop that. For, you know, for like a final memory type Jiffy. But yeah, man. Um, like I said, RP to that man and. Yeah, man, that's gonna do it for the video. Let me see in the comments below. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the vibe, man. Peace.